When I review projectors, I look at six main categories, overall video quality, its brightness, audio quality, how much fan noise, the machine is making, the keystone adjustments and focusing, and number six is overall user experience, navigating the menus. What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. If this is the first time you're stopping by and you enjoy tech content like this, you won't wanna hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video and turn on the notification so you will be notified when I drop new videos. This video is not sponsored, however, I have received this projector from Apeman for free to test and review, and I wanted to share my thoughts with you. So this is the LC650 model. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is about the video resolution. So when you are shopping on Amazon or online, you're probably gonna see the phrase supports 1920 by 1080 or full HD. That doesn't mean that the image quality is 1920 by 1080 and there's a difference between the two. So you need to take a look at the native resolution. The native resolution is the actual uh, projection quality. So uh, for example, this uh, projector has a native resolution of 1920 by 1080, but it says it supports 4K. That means it will take 4K inputs but the projection is gonna be 1920 by 1080. Some of the lower quality ones, the budget projectors around and under $100, they say they support 1920 by 1080, but the native resolution may be 720 or even 480, which may be fine depending on your needs and your budget. Whenever you wanna use a projector to project finer details such as text and charts um, in the office, you probably want to get a projector that has a native resolution of 1920 by 1080 and above. I think this sells on Amazon for $220. Uh, sometimes they have a coupon code that you can get it for around 160 bucks or so, so definitely keep an eye on that. I love this look and finish. The top has this wood uh, pattern. It's kind of like a dark brown or black finish to it. We have an accessory box. In the accessory box we have an HDMI cable. Forgot the name of this cable but I don't think anyone is using this anymore. This was, what was it, the video and then right and left audio. Uh, somebody put a comment, let me know what was the name of this cable. And then a power adapter a remote control and a very hefty owner's manual. So they have these rubber legs for the bottom. You push them in and then uh, twist clockwise. The remote control takes two AAA. So let's take a look around at the projector. Starting from the front, we have the lens which comes with a lens cap and looks like the way you focus is by just twisting the lens housing itself and that's how it focuses. We have some ports up front. Uh, these can be the speakers or for ventilation. And then working our way around on the right side, again, we have more uh, open uh, mesh grill uh, that could be for the speaker or for ventilation. And coming in the back, that's where we have all the inputs. So the power port, we have an IR port one HDMI, USB one, USB two, and then, uh, and then an AV port as well as an auxiliary port. And then on the other side, same thing, more uh, open ports and for ventilation or speakers, and then back to the front. At the top, there's only a singular button that could be the power button. And at the bottom, uh, you have these four rubber legs that we just put on. It doesn't have a place for you to mount this on a tripod. Let's plug it in. I will use my iPhone to project some image as well as I have a USB drive with a couple of clips on it that uh, I will use to test this projector. In order to connect my iPhone and project, I need one of these adapters. It's a lightning to HDMI. Does not come with the unit, but I'll put a link in the description in case if you guys wanted to pick one up. So at this point, most of the lights are off inside this room, but there are some ambient lights are on to try to give it a more natural look and feel of how this could look inside your house because we're never gonna have a pitch black room. So as you can see, I have this flat on my table right now. 
but because it's projecting straight into the screen, the other half is too low, so I have to try to raise this. This does not come with any um, adjustable leg that I can raise, so I have to put stuff underneath this projector to try to raise it up. So this definitely seems very, very sharp. Again, at full HD 1920 by 1080, I'm not surprised that this is the level of quality we're getting right now. Movie, music, photo, text, and then you have your ports down here. Uh, I am interested in the keystone adjustment. There you go, keystone. So you can do up to, I believe, 25 degrees vertical and horizontal. And every time you have um, the projector pointing up or when you're pointing it sideways, your, your image is not gonna be a perfect rectangle. And this is how you can go ahead, adjust to get the exact look you're looking for. There you go. So it's a little bit more straight than before because I have the projector pointing up. First, I'm gonna go ahead, hook up my iPhone. So HDMI to this port and then this port into my phone. The paired off fall hammer. You want him plain and simple. Everyone wants him, and here's why. The Fire Knight Castle is hard because he keeps killing himself, right? Baradol's skill in Source with Axe makes it... There are many different reasons why you may be having problems with your Wi-Fi in your house, and there could be many different solutions for that. But an obvious one could be you simply may not be taking advantage of the latest available technology, which is Wi-Fi 6. You see, Wi-Fi 6 has been out for almost about two years at the time I'm recording this video, end of 2020. But many people still don't know enough about Wi-Fi 6 and therefore they don't even know if they should upgrade or not. The audio quality so far, I thought it was uh, pretty good. At the higher volume, the sound does not get distorted. It's a little bit on the bassier side and uh, for an average size room, I would say is sufficient. But typically if you get a really high quality uh, projector like this, you're probably gonna go ahead pair it with an external um, speaker to try to get a little bit better sound out of it anyway, but just wanted to share that. I'm gonna go ahead plug in the USB port. far as the throw distance and the ratio you get, um, the projector is about six feet from the screen right now. And the size I'm getting is about, I would say 55 inches. So um, you can uh, get an idea how big of a room you need to try to get the maximum size. So there is a menu button on uh, the remote. And once you press that, then you have access to the picture, sound, time, and some additional options. One other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera very close to the screen so up close you guys can see how noticeable the pixels are on the screen. So I promise we're gonna take a look at the six overall categories. Talking about picture quality at 1920 by 1080 you definitely can go wrong with this. Yes, it's definitely not 4K, but it gives you really good quality, just like you would get from your TV. Overall brightness, this actually was very, very bright. Uh, even when the room wasn't uh, fully um, dark, uh, I could still see very, very vivid image. So the brightness is really good. For some reason, they don't have the overall brightness in lumens or lux in, um, uh, on their site and Amazon, I'm not sure why. If I were to tell you whether I will endorse its brightness, I would say absolutely yes. The sound quality, um, so I know earlier I said it's a little bit bassy. I didn't mean you get a lot of bass out of it. I, I meant that the, the lows are a little bit more pronounced than the highs, but you really don't get any bass out of it, if that makes sense. But the good news is, even when you turn it all the way up, the sound does not get distorted. So I highly recommend if you want to watch this, uh, if you want to use this to watch a movie and enjoy this, pair this with some sort of uh, external speaker um, of your choice. And then talking about the fan noise, so large projectors like this, normally they're known to have fairly loud fan noises. 
and this is no exception. Uh, the nice thing about this is all the internals um, are sealed, so that helps with the fan noise a little bit, but uh, it's definitely noticeable if you're gonna watch the movie at a very, very low volume, let's say the kids are sleeping and you want to uh, use this to watch a movie, and uh, if you're gonna listen to it at a very low volume, you definitely will notice the fan noise. So the fan noise is there and you cannot avoid it. The Keystone adjustment, actually I was very pleased with that. Um, some of the Keystone adjustments you get on more budget uh, projectors, there are manual Keystone adjustments. This was not the case. Um, you actually have um, the Keystone adjustments in the menu that you can go ahead and digitally adjust both vertically and horizontally to try to have that on both sides. That was really fantastic. The other thing is typically when you have keystone adjustments, you lose focus on the top, bottom, right or left. And I didn't really notice it in this case. And then finally, user experience. Uh, the menu was pretty straightforward. Actually, it was very similar to what I've noticed in some of the other projectors. So I don't know if they all buy their software from the same company or not, but it was very easy to navigate. I like the fact that you have a dedicated uh, volume button and menu button and uh, input button on um, this remote control, which makes it um, very convenient. So what are the, some of the pros and cons and would I recommend this? Once you get to $200 price range, it's, uh, it becomes a little bit uh, difficult to try to talk about it, right? Um, there are a lot of things I like about this. I like its overall brightness. I like its video quality. Uh, the sound quality is not there yet and the menus and ports are okay and just standards for these type of projectors. The only I wish I have is if I'm paying 200 bucks for a projector like this, it would be really nice to maybe have uh, like a pouch and a carrying case and uh, I think that will make it a really nice touch. So this has been it guys. Uh, let me know what you think about this video, what do you think about this projector. If you got any questions uh, for me, anything I missed to review or talk about, comment down below. I will try to get to as many comments as I can. If I don't answer your DMs on Instagram or down here, I will do my best to try to get to them. Thanks for watching. Again, if you haven't had a chance to like this video, please do so. That would be a huge help to me and my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.